Hey guys, we are back here for another video. Let's come on in guys and let's get started on this video. I did a video yesterday in which I said Al Reynolds was attacked by Claudia on air. Y'all was all in the comments. Obviously you can't read people and you don't understand what I understand because I never said that Claudia, what Claudia said in terms of the transgender community, in terms of not disclosing to a person that you want to date what your sexual preference is. I didn't say anything about that. What I simply said is that Claudia attacked Al. And if you paid any attention, you would have heard her reference his failed marriage, which was totally inappropriate. So that was not something in which they were discussing to bring up somebody's marriage is totally unprofessional. This is a co-worker. This is who they, you know, these two work together. But you guys missed that. But I'm glad somebody else got it. Well, we have receipts released on Claudia Jordan. In fact, she hates Al. I tried to tell y'all in a roundabout way, but y'all didn't catch it. You were all consumed with things that I never even said. So I understand. It seems like you guys go off of what the next per person state or what the next person says, because I never said anything about what she said other than she disrespected Al. People have a right to believe what they want to believe but because i need to show y'all the receipts pay attention this time because you guys really missed it last time but since you missed it we got proof that claudia don't like al and she basically used our mind as a puppet y'all let's get into these receipts but not until we get into our intro I don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. And as always, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you guys enable your bell notification so you do not miss out on a video or whenever I go live. Hey, guys. Good morning. I'm normally up this morning, this early anyway. I'm sorry. Um, and uh, I just had to get something like taken care of real quick. I know I still got sleep in my eyes or whatever. Okay, I'm up because I'm getting ready to catch a flight. And I'm up as well because I believe God wanted me and Claudia to be up at the same time. Cause she, she in uh, Vegas reporting posts and stuff for hate speech. I don't understand how receipts are hate speech, but good luck reporting this post, Claudia, okay? So here's the thing. Um, so I did my video and I'm, you know, I'm getting ready for my Philly show tonight. Thank you, Winos. We're sold out. Okay. We're in Riley next. Get those tickets. Tasha K on stage.com. Okay. And so um, they sent me a live that Claudia did from the bed. Right. And she was on the messy spot. I think this was like a few hours ago, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, she was on the messy spot and she got up there and she was just a rambling, talking really fast, really manic, Claudia. She gets a little manic at times, right? And, you know, she was really triggered by my video, right? Only hit dogs holler, right? And so um, she had said something that really just kind of rubbed me the wrong way because I believe, you know, People looking at my case, right, um, that happened almost seven years ago. Seven years ago concerning an interview that I did, okay? That was an interview that I did, and that's cool. I know it's probably going to follow me for the rest of my career. That is totally fine as long as we're doing what we're supposed to do to make sure that if we get it wrong, we say we're wrong. We're not always going to have everything right, right? But what you're not finna do, what you're not finna do, because I ain't going to be up yelling. I ain't going to be up yelling here this type, this type of morning. It's the prayer hour, okay? It's truly the prayer hour. Now... I'm going to let y'all go to sleep in a minute. It's not going to be long because I got to go catch a flight. I'm literally about to head to the airport, okay? So, um, you know, Claudia said that I was lying about 
what I reported on, which was very detailed. It was very detailed. It was so detailed, even Funky Dineva posted it. And him and I ain't even rocking with each other, okay? But we gave respect when respect is due. He came back and he corrected saying he doesn't, re you know, he didn't talk to me about the contract negotiations. You did. You probably didn't go into specifics, but you spoke to me about contract negotiations. And I'm very keen on contract negotiations. So I know what goes down. But for nevertheless, he let the rest of the video play and basically co-signed it and said, basically, you're spot on. Okay. So here's the thing. This is this is in turn, uh, this is regarding Fox Soul, okay? So here's the thing. I'm not giving them breath. My breath smell good. I brush my teeth. What the hell? Yeah, uh-uh. Stop. Here we go. So Claudia got, got her ass up. Didn't brush her teeth, okay? And got her ass up on a, a, a blog to call me a liar. Saying that I was lying. She hadn't talked to me in a long time. All this and that. Okay, watch, watch. Hold on. Subscribers to know that it's really not all that you think. And no one's even had a com Well, I haven't had a conversation with Tashkin in a very long time. So I don't know where she's getting her information from of this new stuff. Um, it's not as accurate as, it, it, you know. I, let's just, just wait. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna take the hits right now and let everybody attack me and call me names and get in my DMs and say it's my fault, like usual. I'm built for it, I guess. I'll just go beat my good people tonight. We'll have some drinks and we'll forget about it by tomorrow. But I just, I just hate being misrepresented. Mm, okay, like being misrepresented as a black woman and you're not. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, listen. So here's the thing. I'm gonna play this one more time. The reason I brought it here is because I posted it on Instagram. I tagged Al. I tagged Funky Dineva. I tagged Claudia. I tagged all the blogs. I tagged Fox Soul. They always had my name in their mouth. Okay, always, always. Okay, but what you're not gonna do is call me a liar. That's what we're so not people. Listen, if it's like I said, I don't I don't really chase lies like that because if somebody lie on you, you don't know where the root of it is. I know where this root come from. So I could just dead it. So I posted everything. I didn't there was no hate speech. There was no nothing. It got reported for targeting a certain individual, not group. She's up talking about God separating her from people. Girl, girl, girl. Let's play this one more time. And then I'm going to give you these receipts. Since I'm a liar about what I said about you being messy. And your mouth runs like liquid cocaine. Look how fast you're talking in this. Like liquid cocaine. Subscribers to know that it's really not all that you think. And no one's even had a con Well, I haven't had a conversation with Tashkin in a very long time. So I don't know where she's getting her information from of this new stuff. Um... It's not as accurate as it, it, you know. I let's just just wait, okay? I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna take the hits right now and let everybody attack me and call me names and get in my DMs and say it's my fault, like usual. I'm built for it, I guess. I'll just go beat my good people tonight. We'll have some drinks and we'll forget about it by tomorrow. But I just, I just hate being misrepresented. Mm, misrepresented. Okay, that's a good one. All right, so receipt time. So Claudia claims she never spoke to me in a very long time. I actually, my last message between me and Claudia was actually, uh, hold on. Let me pause this video here for a second because this is work phone. Then we have my personal phone. Give me one second. Hold on. Listen, um, I can't get those messages real quick, but I do have the DMs. So don't worry about that. But here's the thing. She said I, I, I made up or she doesn't know where I got my information from. Okay, so uh, me and Claudia have been cool and we have not been cool. You guys didn't know that because I never brought it to the internet. Claudia is very sensitive when it comes to speaking on her. And so um, the thing about it was like, you know, she would speak on me and I'm like, listen, I, I, don't, I don't care about y'all speaking on me. Just hit me. I will give you the receipts. Just hit me. But they insisted on speaking out of the side of their neck. So, you know, I'll be like, yo, here, can you just correct this information? I thought we cool. 
Same thing with her. Why would you say that? So her and I will always go back and forth as commentators on platforms, right? It wasn't anything to bring to the internet, right? And I know she got a little upset when she introduced me to her friend group. And some of them are married. Some of them weren't. Some of them were with married men. And Claudia has a track record of being a mistress magnet, right? It was a lot of liquor. They was just going in and I'm like, they want to take pictures with me. I didn't ask to take no pictures with none of them. I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because if I have to get to work, I have to get to work on you hoes. And I knew it was only going to be a matter of time before I had to get to work on them hoes. And I did, just like I'm getting to work on this hoe right now. So, um, January 9th of this year, Claudia and I were cool, right? This is before we met up in Dallas where she lives and we had dinner, okay? We had dinner. So, um, hold on real quick. Let me pull up the messages. Claudia. Okay. All righty. Here we go. Actually, the last time me and Claudia spoke was when um, uh, she... Let me see what day this message came in. I could give you an exact date. March 13th was when we were speaking on sort of good terms. But the last time I really spoke to her was when she sent me a cease and desist because Ashley from, um, you see that? What does that say? Okay. Right. All right. So Ashley from Wine is a New Tea basically spilled wine on her that she heard about her being an alleged diddy bop at the time. So she got upset about something that Ashley, one of my, you know, commentators on Why Does the New Tea said about her, okay? Yeah, they stay trying to sue me. I don't even give a damn. So here's the thing, okay? Oh, this is gonna get juicy. So back in January, um, you know, this was around when Funky had decided to leave and everything and you know, the contract negotiations was there, right? And so, um, let me go back and get to January. Okay, so um, this is her saying, hey, lady, we covered you last night. So I just want you to know nothing bad. It was positive. I don't care if it's anything bad, but just make sure you call me and get it right. That's all I'm saying. So um, here's the thing. She always... Said, I said, oh, okay, thank you, but call me if y'all want the exclusives. I got you. And then I said, okay. And then she says, okay, I did not look at the script before the show, so I was seeing it in real time. I'm going to do better in the new year, but Al was complimentary too. Just wanted to share positive news. Okay, I love y'all, but I'm going to call you later this week. Okay, I'm here just getting over the flu. Call me this week. I'm like, damn, everybody, still year. But Al was complimentary too. Just wanted to share positive news. Okay, I love y'all, but I'm going to call you later this week. Okay, I'm here just getting over the flu. Call me this week. I'm like, damn, everybody, sit, cough, 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 cough. Okay, so... January uh, 4th on a Thursday at 2.37 p.m. This is where we get sticky. I said, God sat you down. And I mean, he say, sat down. She says, sure did. January 9th. So remember how I told you she never liked Al? She never liked Funky Dineva? You can go to Funky Dineva's page right now. Funky Dineva clocked it. Okay, so hey, I'm at dinner with friends after a very rough Zoom call with production after the show. Mind you, this is way before our mind got higher, Gumby. This was when, you know, Funky, you know, was, uh, you know, I guess in contract negotiations. I don't know if this was before or after, but she goes, it was horrible. He was yelling at me and blames me in front of production, of course. Totally throwing me under the bus. I'm so over these. Okay. Then she, I say, who? She says, Al, it's super ridiculous. I said, Jesus. She goes, oh, super ugly. Quote, no good deed goes un." punished you free just wrapping up with flame she says we can chat tomorrow this is when funky lost his damn mind okay so listen i know it's early for this because i'm about to i'm about to literally head to the airport in like 15 minutes but i wanted to tell you uh claudia this is not including um 
Not only does this solidify your disdain for Al, you never liked him. You always wanted to punish him and get him back. Um, Armand wasn't even on the team yet. So the fact that Armand has all this information about who Al was and how he wants to do this and sabotage the show and all of that, and, and it's like you, you weren't there long enough to even know. Claudia been on this energy, and she needed a gun that she could use so she could protect her job while in the midst of them trying to replace you before your eyes. That's why they got T.S. Madison back up there, because T.S. Madison can read. That's why they got Lunell up there, because T.S. Madison, I mean, uh, Lunell can read. And they can cover a vast variety of topics outside of female rap. Now, here's the thing. I thought he would grow. He didn't. You know, neither here nor there. You know, better luck next time. But here's what I'm going to say. You're, Claudia's job is not at risk, right? Because Claudia throws a rock and hides her hand. I spent countless number of hours on the phone with man at Claudia, and I can show you the messages. Girl, will you just get on the phone? I can't get on the phone. I'm losing my shit. Just all the time. Just caring energy. Just all the time. And so here's the thing. Like, you knew that so-called roast was coming because you helped to plan it. You help to fuel the erratic, manic, okay? Just follow the leader. Everybody's my friend. Personality. Because you knew y'all was getting ready to get rid of him anyway. So it's like, well, let me just speed it up and we can cast for two more hosts and I'm the one here. So if anybody is sabotaging Fox Soul and if it's you, and it's been you. You claim you love the community. Okay, but you and I had a conversation. Sometimes, as black women, when you black, we fed up with the community, particularly the Fs, not the gay boys, the Fs, because it could be too much. It could be way too much, right? So, um, and that is totally understandable. It's like us getting upset. Right. So, um, and that is totally understandable. It's like us getting upset or just over men, period. Or just over certain girlfriends. Or you know what? We hate turtles today. We hate turtles today. But the mere fact that you try to act like you're innocent, you're not messy, that's why Funky was like, you keep playing with me, I'm going to hold this in the chamber. I got some in the chamber for you. Don't play with me. Because you don't want him to unload his thread. He ain't messy like me. I'm messy. I do this. This is what I do. Why I gossip in comedy. So while we gossiping, we're going to laugh. But what you're not going to do, I was very professional when I spoke on this. I didn't go below the belt. I threw my little shade, but I stated what I stated. You are messy. You're messy, and you chose the perfect pawn, the one who has a reputation of just being erratic, and he just flies off the handle before he has a chance to think because he's very childlike. Even though you knew y'all was already getting ready to sacrifice him anyway. So, girl... I ain't even unloaded the whole thread. I don't want to. But what I wanted to say is that you never liked Al. You never liked Funky. So the next time you open up your funky ass mouth to call me a lie, I'm going to take this phone and I'm going to shove it down your throat. Just like how these alleged invisible men that we ain't never seen are shoving apes down your throat. And your friends throats. So, girl, don't don't do that. And there was one more thing I wanted to add real quick. Because I'm gonna cut off the live. Good morning, y'all, by the way. Good morning. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I was I was up all night anyway working on my show for Philly, you know. Um, but anyway, so I can't wait to see y'all tonight. It's gonna be dope. Happy Father's Day, by the way. Seriously. Hold on for a second. You said what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. So, um, there was one more thing I wanted to add. It, I, it was on the tip of my tongue. You know, it's, it's an early morning. Um, 
It was concerning Claudia, Armand, Al. Al, I just want to say, you know, regardless of how you act behind the scenes, that's the workplace. You're supposed to be able to share your thoughts, go in, express your feelings to your, your coworkers amongst that. Y'all making too much money to be bringing that to the streets. Like, for real. Y'all could have kept that. It wasn't even really that serious. But because I knew most of the parties involved, I had a place to speak on it. And besides, I run one of the biggest <laughs> digital media platforms out there. So, of course, I'm going to speak on it. <laughs> it's best you just call me and give me your side. We can dead that there, okay? I, I ain't never twisted nobody's words or nothing. If I have, I will go back in and correct them. But it's not intentionally. Just like Funky just posted a post and he was like, this ain't what I remember telling you. That's cool, but it's what I remember you telling me. Maybe I perceived it wrong, but you have the right to correct it because it's always three sides to a story. Okay? Um, but as far as, um, you know, the, uh, the, the, the online situation, it goes back to the pattern. And I would like, listen, I would love for him to load up and does what he do. Do do, do what you does, does best. Okay. Um, you know, I've never, <laughs> ever, ever been afraid of the smoke. I enjoy the smoke from your platform. It's very promotional for us over here. Thank you. And um, unlike you, we grow from it. Mm-hmm. We grow. Yeah. Them 200,000 you got, I got them 200,000 just this year alone. So, listen... Um, what we're going to do, um, like, I, I'm seeing, like, how he moves, like, and there was a reason why, like I said, he, he got back on the YouTube channel because he knows it's coming down the pipe. And I really feel bad, like, because I'm like, damn, like, this was your opportunity. You cannot ruin every single opportunity. See, y'all can talk, y'all can say whatever you want to say about me, but I don't ruin my opportunities. I'm on a full-fledged tour right now. I'm filming movies, TV shows, like, please don't play with me. Don't, don't play with me. And you will never see me out here blasting the people that are working behind the scenes or even in front of the scenes, period. Okay. Y'all could talk about my team members. You, you know, if they want to get out here and tell their business, that's fine. I'd rather just give the receipts behind the scenes and keep it cute because it is internal business situations. But, you know, acting like a child having a two-year-old tantrum in the middle of Walmart because so you, Jason Lee, putting you in rooms that you had never been in, Bia putting you in rooms, Iggy Azalea, Cardi B. Sister-in-law did a lot for you, bruh. I got to give her that. She ain't never did that for no other blogger but you. We were all under the impression she didn't like bloggers. We was like, I'm telling you, we talked behind the scenes. We was like, damn. Like, it, so it's not just me. And it, 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 it's really relieving to understand that, like, that it's not just me. It's not just Kyle. It's not just Angie, you know. And there's a ton of other blogs. But when she took to you, it was like, damn, like maybe you could be used as a bridge to help bridge all of us to her. Even though we didn't need it, but it would make things go easier because she is a topic, right? But she took to you and she trusted you. She trusted you. And... Now, for whatever reason, you're blasting her, threatening to expose her. No different than what you did to Jason Lee, me, anybody else, T.S. Madison. Like I said, the list goes on. And now you're at risk of losing your job faster than what you did before. So, um... I don't know. I don't, I don't know what, what your... your your plan B is, maybe it is the, um, what do you call it? The tarot readings on Fiverr. I don't know if y'all been to Fiverr. Fiverr is where I hire a lot of professionals to do like, um, work for me at very, very affordable rates. And so I think maybe he wants a talk show or a reality show like Mrs. Cleo, but why can't you read your own future? How is it 
How is it that you are reading tarot cards, predicting the future, having people pay you to read their futures, but you, sir, keep, it's like you're living in Groundhog Day. You keep showing up in the same future, but you can't seem to see your own future. And I never thought I would say this in a million years, that I honestly take my sister-in-law's side. I do. I really take my sister-in-law's side. My apology to her was genuine. Like, I stand on that. My platform was not built to tear down, to make people feel like they want to, you know, kill themselves or whatever. I'm not in her shoes. I, I don't perceive what she perceives. So her watching an interview on my platform and me going through what I went through was very, very eye-opening. It taught me a lot and it grounded me. And it placed my feet in the ground to the point where I'm actually soaring. I'm going in the direction that I want to go. And I'm thankful for that. The winos did that, right? But for you, like, I was just like, what did she truly do to you besides trust you, confided in you, even if like, um, sister-in-law is Cardi. I don't like to say her name. I am not ordered to not say her name, but I just don't like to say her name because um, that bridge has, has, you know, we've we've crossed that bridge and um, I've opted not to make her a topic. But this is just personal between me and Armand that the pattern is so redundant that you cannot possibly be charging people to read their future with tarot cards and advertise it and risk your job on Fox Soul to go and do $15 tarot readings because your YouTube channel is not making money and burn every single relationship that you have with everybody that's connected to the industry because you're emotionally immature and codependent. Now we're, um, so you and Claudia can click up, but notice Claudia ain't doing nothing. Claudia, this her last job and she doing a few two movies and she being casted here, but Claudia 50. <laughs> Claudia 50. And until she walks you into Fox's office and, re and refers you for a job, because I referred you for that job. I did personally. And she cannot, and you know I did because she told you, she told you, man, ain't no lie, that ain't no cap. Even um, even uh, Funky referred you. But what you do, you're allowing yourself to be used. Stay out of workplace business and just cock in, mind your business, and do your work. And read. That's all you had to do. That's all you had to do. But now you want us calling the psycho hotline. That's cool. But Claudia, here's the thing. Don't, don't, don't get on here. Don't get on here line on me. You, you can't report this post, honey. I'm working with Instagram to get that post back up. There was nothing that was um, remotely uh, close to hate speech in that post. And I just take that personal when you guys try to bully, you try to sue, you try to hide the truth. All you have to do is call me. Call me. The bullying doesn't work. Obviously, it doesn't work. If I'm going to learn a lesson, I'm going to learn it on my own time. But you're not God to teach me a lesson. And my lesson came from my lawsuit when I first kicked off my blog because I needed to get my shit in order so that I could run a professional and very thriving blog. Digital media site. So y'all can listen. You can run with it for the rest of your life, and I will too. I promise you. But that smoke that people think I have with, um, you know, sister-in-law and Cardi B, those days are over. There's no smoke. Those days are over, okay? Now, we may laugh and kiki about, you know, stuff that be going on. You know I am human, but I do not wish no bad on that girl or her kids or anything that is obviously of the past, and we are moving uh, forward with these payments, with these insurance payments, okay? All right, so listen, um... Yeah, Claudia, Claudia is 50. 50, okay? And there's nothing wrong with 50. But 50 and messy? Mm, mm. Baby, you should be starting charities or something. You know, the, opening up a cookie shop. 
Now, can a real estate something? So listen, I love you guys. I gotta go. I'm literally about to head to the airport. I'm like, luckily I got TSA pre-check, okay? So- And guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And please let me know what you guys think in the comments.